We all want to maintain and strengthen the harmonious industrial relations that we have here in Singapore. Managing our foreign workforce well is part of the effort and is, it is a wide-ranging topic. Much has been done and other new measures will also be introduced in good time. This bill is one part of the broader effort. It is a result of work put in over the past few years and specifically addresses the regulation of larger dormitories. I understand that there are current concerns regarding the housing and living conditions of some foreign workers, and I appreciate the feedback that members of this House and also fellow Singaporeans have been pro providing. Indeed, there is a comprehensive set of existing rules which regulate the living conditions of foreign employees, safeguard their safety and well-being, and reduce these amenities on the neighbours. These apply to all forms of foreign worker accommodation and cover areas such as building and safety, fire safety, minimum living space and hygiene standards. These standards are in place and will be enforced and will continue to be so. Many of the unsafe and unsanitary conditions that some members have referred to are conditions that already contravene these existing rules. And we have taken and will continue to take firm action against Aaron parties. All relevant government agencies, such as the Building and Construction Authority of BCA, the Singapore Civil Defence Force, SCTF, and the National Environment Agency, NEA, are committed to not only step up enforcement of existing requirements and deter such transgressions, but to also continue to raise standards over time. So why is this bill needed? First, government's, government's longer-term view is that the accommodation needs of work permit holders are best met in such dormitories where there are self-contained living, social and recreational facilities. We have been launching new and larger purpose-built dormitory or PBDs sites over the past few years and we will continue doing so to meet the housing demand of a foreign workforce, especially for the construction, marine and process sectors. Such larger PBDs will form an increasingly prominent part of the foreign worker housing landscape. Second, and more importantly, there will be different concerns due to the scale of the developments. The bill is therefore a progressive measure aimed at ensuring better design parameters and requirements that would be woven into the development of these new PBDs as they are being built. I would like to emphasize again that the existing regulations will continue to apply to both larger and smaller dormitories. The new regulations complement rather than replace the existing ones.